WHO approves emergency use of China's Sinopharm COVID vaccine. Sinopharm could now be included in the UN-backed COVAX program distributing COVID jabs to lower-income countries. The World Health Organization has approved the emergency use of a COVID-19 vaccine manufactured by China's Sinopharm. Friday's decision by WHO Technical Advisory Group, a first for Chinese vaccine, opens the possibility the Sinopharm's offering could be included in the United Nations-backed COVAX program in coming weeks or months and distributed through United Nations Children Agency UNICEF and whose American regional office. Aside from efficacy numbers, the Chinese manufacturer has released very little public data about its two vaccines, one developed by its Beijing Institute of Biological Products and the other by the Wuhan Institute of Biological Products. The Beijing made Sinopharm shot is one the WHO advisory group considered for the emergency use listing. This afternoon WHO gave emergency use listing to sign off on Beijing's COVID-19 vaccine, making it the sixth vaccine to receive WHO validation for safety, efficacy and quality, WHO Director General Tedros Alhamon Gebros said. The Sinopharm vaccine will join one made by Pfizer, BioNTech, Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, AstraZeneca and a version of AstraZeneca vaccine made by the Serum Institute of India in receiving the coveted authorization from the UN Health Agency. This expands the list of vaccines that COVAX can buy and gives countries confidence to expedite their own regulatory approval and to import and administer a vaccine, Tedros said in at a Geneva news conference. Very confident. Previously, a separate group advising WHO on vaccine said it was very confident. The Sinopharm vaccine protects people aged 18 to 59. The group said it had a low level of confidence in the vaccine efficacy for people 60 and over. Its members said they had very low confidence if the available data about serious side effects in that age group. Sinopharm has not published its late-stage test results in scientific journals, so the WHO requested a breakdown of its data which comes mostly from the United Arab Emirates. A summary posted online by WHO suggests the vaccine is about 78% effective with the caveat that all but a few hundred of the study volunteers were younger than 60. Gavi, the vaccine alliance which co-runs COVAX welcomed WHO's approval of emergency use. This means the world has yet another safe and effective tool in the fight against this pandemic, the alliance said. The public-private partnership said it was in discussion with several manufacturers including Sinopharm to expand and diversify the portfolio further and secure access to additional doses for countries in the COVAX program. COVAX aims to send vaccines for free to 92 lower income countries and to help another 99 countries and territories procure them. S Senior WHO advisor Bruce Alward said it would be up to Sinopharm to say how many doses of its vaccine it can provide to the program, but added they are looking at trying to provide substantial support, make substantial doses available while at the same time of course trying to serve chi China's population. Its easy storage requirement makes it highly suitable for low resource setting, a WHO statement said. Tedros said the following the approval its separate strategic advisory group of experts had recommended that adults over 18 receive two doses of the Sinopharm vaccine. On the basis of all available evidence, WHO recommends the vaccine for adults and older. In a two-dose schedule with a spacing of three to four weeks, the WHO statement said. The WHO has said it could reach a decision on China's other main COVID-19 vaccine made by Sinovac Biotech next week. The technical experts reviewed it on Wednesday. Arnold Dader Laurent, chair of WHO's technical advisory group, told the press conference, We have started to review the report from Sinovac. We actually requested additional information to the manufacturer. 
which we hope to receive very soon to make a decision. China has deployed around 65 million doses of the Sinopharm vaccine and more than 200 million doses of the Sinovac shot. Both have been exported to many countries, particularly in Latin America, Asia and Africa, many of which have had difficulty securing supplies of vaccine developed in the West. Thank you.